So the S Pen is hidden in a little nook in the front of the laptop, right in the bottom. So you're never gonna notice it until you really need it. When you pull it out, it launches Samsung's Air Command software. It's a series of little icons that tell you exactly what you can do with the pen. If you don't wanna use Samsung software, that's fine. It also works great with Windows 10's inking that's baked right into the operating system. The pen has 4,096 degrees of pressure sensitivity, and it also works when you tilt it. So it's not only great for note-taking, but also for writing and drawing. The thing never needs a battery, so you never need to charge it, and it's really one of the most smooth and responsive styluses I've used on a 2-in-1 in a long time. For $13.99, you're getting a serious piece of hardware with the Notebook 9 Pro. This one comes with Radeon graphics, a Core i7 CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty of memory for writing and drawing and using Photoshop, and a speedy 256 gigabyte SSD that performed excellently in our testing. It also has this beautiful 15 inch 1080p display that's vivid and bright. Some other competitors might offer 4K displays, but they'll be at least $100 more, if not several hundred dollars more, than what you're gonna find here on the Notebook 9 Pro. Everyone I've shown the Notebook 9 Pro to has been blown away by it. It looks and feels awesome. It has this aluminum gunmetal gray lid. It feels really sturdy. It's subtle and it's professional. You open it up and you have this all black interior that looks and feels really nice. And it's a two-in-one. So you can flip it around into a tent or all the way into a tablet, which is great for what you want to draw with the stylus. It has a lot of ports on it. It's got full-size USB 3.0. It has HDMI and the latest USB Type-C, so you'll be able to use all your old accessories and a whole bunch of new ones. Competing laptops like the Dell XPS 15 and the HP Spectre X360, those lasted about eight and a half hours on the charge. So you do get a lot more battery in those computers, and this is gonna require quite a bit more charging.